Hi friends, welcome to Oracle Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see the commands delete and truncate. First of all, we will see the delete command. Uh, it is a data manipulation language. In this, uh, first of all, we will see how to delete a particular row using a where clause. First of all, we will view all the rows of our table. Select star from table name is employees. And here we can see all the rows from this table employees. Suppose here we want to delete a particular row whose emp id is 5. Here we can see that row, the last row, emp id is 5. Here we can see the emp name, it's Edward. And here we can see the date of birth, emp salary and emp place. So we are going to delete this particular row. Here we can see that query. delete from table name that is employees and here we have to give a where clause where emp id equal to 5 we will execute this query and here we can see one row deleted now we will view our table employees here we can see the result set. Here we can see the last row is deleted uh, where the M by D was 5. Now we are going to delete all the rows from this table employees uh, using this uh, delete command. For that we have to give only delete from employees without where clause. So we will uh, copy this query. Here we can see the query and we will execute this. And here we can see the result 4 rows deleted. Now we will view our table. Select star from employees. And here we can see no rows selected. Now we are going to bring back the data what we deleted using a rollback. Here we are going to give the command rollback and we will command this query and we will execute this rollback and here we can see rollback complete. Now we will view our table employees, select star from employees and here we can see the result set. Here we roll back all the rows what we deleted from this table employees. Right. Now we are going to see the command truncate. Here we can see the query for that. Truncate table then table name its employees. It's time to execute this query. Truncate table employees. Here we can see table truncated. Now we are going to give a rollback and we will see what happens. We are going to comment this query and we will execute a rollback. So here we can see uh, we got the result a rollback complete. But we have to verify our table employees. Coming to select a star from employees, we will execute it. But here we can see no rows selected. So here we can see that once you do truncate table, we cannot roll back. Here we can see all the queries and its output for this delete and truncate commands. First of all, we will verify it our table employees. So this uh, table employees um, has five rows. 
then we deleted uh, one row from this uh, table employees uh, whose MPID uh, was 5 and then again we verified our table employees and here we can see uh, that uh, row uh, with the MPID 5 is deleted then we given delete from employees so that all the four rows deleted that means all the rows are deleted then we verified our table then uh, we got the output as no row selected then we given a roll back and we verified our table employees and all the data is rolled back in this table employees then we given truncated table then we verified our table employees here also we given a roll back and we verified our table employees but we got the output as no row selected well that's all in this video friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below so we will meet again with the next video thank you